Hi everybody! In this video I will show you how to make a looping animation. We will focus on one particular part of this robot model I have in front of me and animate that so it loops seamlessly. You know what else is really cool? Animating dinosaurs! And that's gonna happen in a near future video, so do keep your eyes out for that! In order to get the animate button up here to the right, make sure that your project is a bedrock project. You can check by going into file and project and see here it says bedrock model if you have one or otherwise you click on convert project down here and set it to bedrock model using the list down below. Confirm when you're ready and get going. To hide any objects in your outliner, just simply click on the eye next to them right here and then create an animation by going over to the window left, click on add animation and we're going to be adding the loop mode to loop. We know that an animation is looping when it starts and ends at the very same poses. Let's take a look at the one I have here, for example. Let's scroll this one all the way over to 1, our final keyframe. If this is the same as at 0, we know that this animation will loop proper. So I'm going to click there, and you can see that nothing changed on the legs whatsoever. I'm going to pull these two legs up here. And what you do is essentially take the two first keyframes you've made, and you put them at the very end of your animation cycle. Let's create a new one and see what it actually looks like. So we're going to start one more here click on a loop in loop mode and then confirm. I'm going to rotate this one up slightly, this one down slightly so we have a bit of a starting pose. I'm going to copy these two frames now by clicking and dragging over and then control C. Now if you are on a phone or a tablet device this is a bit more finicky then you essentially hold down on your screen over this one, right click it and copy. Then paste it wherever you want it to end. So I copy these two frames and I paste them down over here. Now the post is going to be the same all throughout. Anything I do in between now can be however complex I want it to be. Let's say I want to take this and shake that up a bit and then like super much back a bit and then I'll just copy these frames and I paste them around a bit so it's like shaky shaky like that. Take this one right here and bring that up all the way there and then bring it all the way over to the back like that. As long as this happens between the first and the final keyframes, it can do whatever it wants to do because it's still going to loop proper. You can see how this, even though we did a lot of weird movement in between, is still starting and ending so that it looks seamless. And this is what's referred to as a looping animation. When you are working on looping animations, I can always recommend that you take your first frames and paste them at the end before you do anything in between. This way you will always know what the animation is about to do next and how it's going to transition back to where it was previously. Let's say for example I just do this, I start with my pose like that, I want to create a bit of a walk cycle so I'm going to take the leg and then rotate it backwards like this and then from here I'm going to bring up the knee. Of course I want the knee to be in the same pose, I'm going to paste this keyframe from the beginning over there as well. Then bend this one up slightly, add a little bit more motion to the leg forward and then bring it slightly more forward as well. Do this, bring that all the way up here. And from here I want to go back to my initial frame. But wait a second, how, how, how do I know, what, what, is it going to look good? Uh, if you're a beginner it's a lot different to do this as a comparison to me who's been working with it for a longer while. Now I know that if I paste these two keyframes in at the end here, it's still going to look fairly decent because I know my way around the motion. But if you're fairly new to it, ending up at this position and trying to go, well, well I'll just try to pose it to where I believe the initial motion was, is a lot harder than to just paste it in the way it was. Anything that's supposed to loop is a lot easier to work with when you just make it loop proper like that. Now that's a bit fast, but at least we got going with a bit of a walk cycle. If you want to see more about how to animate walk cycle animations, there is another video on that here on the channel come up, where I essentially animate a full humanoid walk cycle. So I hope that you're looking out for that one, and I'll see you around in the next video. Hi, and welcome to the Arts by Kev workshop. Now, what's the difference between the workshop and the main channel if you are new here? Well, on the workshop what I do is that I take things that I would normally have done in the past on the main channel, long and boring tutorials, and I bring them onto here. Anything else you might see here is me breaking down content that I produce on my main channel.